Microsoft is continually improving their products, which may require updates to your applications, and on occasion an update may cause syncing issues with OneNote. If you're experiencing syncing issues with OneNote, you can try the following troubleshooting techniques. First, Microsoft recommends keeping your version of OneNote up to date to avoid possible syncing issues. To do this, select File, select Account, and Update Options, and then select Update Now. If this does not work for you and you find your notebook still will not sync to your online version, you will need to determine whether or not the issue is occurring on your local or desktop version of OneNote, or if it's the version that's in Office 365. The easiest way to determine if your local copy is causing the issue, simply close down the notebook and reopen it. Let's go ahead and do that. Click on File. Select the notebook that you're having issues with. Let's pretend that it's Weddings and then Close. Now you can go ahead and reopen it, popping back up to File. Select Open and then select the notebook from the pin locations. The notebook will now reopen, and during this process the connection will be reset and syncing should start again. If syncing is still not occurring to the online version, your next step is to check the online version. There are two ways to do this. You can either log in Office 365 and open up the notebook from Office 365, or you can go ahead and copy and paste the link that's already provided to you in the desktop version. And that's what we're going to do. You'll find the link by selecting File, and then Write Within Info. You'll see the links for the various notebooks. Let's grab the Weddings link. Copy. And now you'll need to pop into your favorite browser and then paste the link. If the notebook opens here and the content looks similar, then you'll know the notebook is syncing appropriately if you are unable to open or view the notebook in the browser. The issue is probably server-related and you'll need to contact your IT help desk. We're going to pop back into the desktop version to view the sync status of our notebooks. And you'll notice that I'm still in the info section of OneNote. From here, you can select View Sync Status. You'll notice we are configured to sync automatically whenever there are changes to our notebooks, but we could also go ahead and sync manually. This screen also provides us the information about the last time that a sync occurred. And as we can see here, we have one that's waiting for an update. Our notebook. Cecilia at London Hotel is up to date with the time of the last sync as well. We can also sync now if we wish to do so. I'm closing this. On occasion, you may notice that only specific sections of your notebook will not sync. To work around the lack of syncing in a section, all you need to do is create a new section and then copy the non-syncing sections to the new section and then manually sync. We're going to go ahead and do that now. We're going to assume that our Land and Hotel section is not syncing. On the section, right-click, and then Move or Copy. I'm going to copy this to the same notebook. And the trick is, it has to be a copy. When I do this, you'll notice that we now have Land and Hotel 2. At this point, we can now go ahead and force a manual sync, and we can do that right from the section tab. And we can do that by right-clicking on the notebook and sync this notebook now. Once you've determined the new section is syncing, you can safely go ahead and delete the old section. If you happen to encounter the error there is not enough space during syncing, this simply means that you've run out of space on the location that you're syncing to, and this will be locally. This is easily solved by deleting the old backups or optimizing your notebook. Let's go ahead and take a look at these two options. I'm going to go back to File and Open Backups. And I'm doing this to start deleting sections of my notebooks, and these are backup sections. I can simply start selecting the sections that I can safely delete. That will free up some space for us. The next thing we can do to save space is to optimize our notebooks. To do that, pop back into File, select Options, click Backup and Save. 
and then under Optimizing Files. We can optimize all files now. You will notice that I have enabled optimized files after one note has been inactive for the following number of minutes. The default is 20, but we can adjust that if we would like to optimize more often or not as often. Following these troubleshooting tips should get your syncing back on track. For additional tips and tricks, please refer to the OneNote Help Center or there are several courses in the channel that can help you with this as well.